Hello everyone, and welcome to Blue Ocean. I'm Liam Newman, and this is the first in a series of videos I'm doing to show some of the cool features of Blue Ocean. In this video, I'm going to show you the Blue Ocean Visual Editor. I'll use the editor to create a minimal declarative pipeline, and then I'll modify that pipeline to build a Maven project, process the test results, and store some of the resulting artifacts. Now, to start with, I've got a clean instance of Jenkins with uh, Blue Ocean installed, obviously, but no jobs or pipelines just a Blue Ocean offering to create a pipeline for me. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, do that. Now, that takes me to the pipeline creation page, which lets me choose between creating a pipeline from Git or GitHub. I'm going to choose GitHub. And since this is a clean Jenkins instance, which I've never used Blue Ocean on before, Blue Ocean asks me for an access token. I don't have one created for it already, but happily, Blue Ocean also offers to help me create one. When I click on that link and sign into GitHub, Blue Ocean takes me to the right page with the permissions that it needs already selected. All I have to do is fill in the name and generate the key, and then copy that back to Jenkins. Now with that key, Blue Ocean can see my GitHub organizations and their repositories. I'm going to use a sample organization I created called Bitwise Jenkins. Next, Blue Ocean asks me whether I want to look at all the repositories in that org, or just one. I'm going to do one for the moment, and I'll pick the JUnit plugin. I'll tell Blue Ocean to create a pipeline, and it will search all the branches in that repository for any that might contain a Jenkins file. If it finds any, it'll create pipelines for them. And I could go and edit one of those. But since it doesn't find one, it offers to create one for me. So here's the Blue Ocean Visual Editor. I'm going to start by creating a minimal pipeline, one that doesn't actually build the project, but just has one stage with one step uh, that prints a message, and then I'll come back and modify that pipeline to do a real build. I'm going to create a stage called initialize, and then add a step to that stage that simply prints a message. Uh, this is a minimal pipeline. Now I'll click save and run. I'll add a description, adding minimal pipelines, and I'm going to put this into a separate branch, not master. I'm still working on this, so uh, let's not push it to master just yet. Let's call that uh, blog Blue Ocean Editor. If I can type it, there we go. Now, I'll go ahead and click Save and Run. And when I do that, the editor saves my changes as a declarative pipeline, commits them, and pushes them to the branch that I chose, and then runs that pipeline. Let's give it just a second here. It has to do a bit more extra work. There we go. Now, this is the view of the overall activity for this pipeline. Now, we're not going to get in, into this much today, but as you can see, the, uh, the minimal pipeline that we ran is already done, and it ran successfully, so that's great. However, Let's go ahead and head back to the editor and finish configuring our pipeline to build our Maven project. We already have our initialize stage. However, our agent isn't configured to build Maven. I'm going to use a, a Docker image to give us a consistent environment for building our project. I'll use Maven 3.3.9 with JDK 8. I'm also going to map the M2 directory uh, in my Docker image to my local file system. That will let me use the dependencies I've already loaded on my local file system rather than downloading every single time for every new Docker image. Next, I'll go ahead and change my initialize stage and um, I'll remove the placeholder message and instead run a shell script, which will give us some diagnostic output, and then uh, also run 
Maven clean, just to make sure uh, we have a, a clean and, and working Maven environment for our build. There we go, Maven clean. Next, I'll create a build stage. This too will run a uh, shell script, uh, which will run Maven install. However, uh, I'll also add a parameter uh, to tell it to not fail, uh, that is not give a failing execute when uh, any tests fail. We're going to rely on JUnit, uh, the JUnit plugin, to set our results uh, for our pipeline. Speaking of which, I'm also going to need a report stage, I think. Um, that's where I'll put the, uh, the JUnit step and also the build ar artifact uh, archiving. There's a really long list here, and I don't want to go searching for JUnit, so I'm just going to type JUnit in here and let Blue Ocean find it for me. Now I'll add the uh, pattern for the test results here and leave the rest of this, uh, these defaults uh, as they are. They look pretty sensible. I don't want to allow any empty results because uh, if they aren't there, then obviously something has gone wrong and I need to fail the build. Now I'll add a, uh, an archive step to archive the artifacts from the build. And that'll be a, a jar and an HPI in this case. The rest of these, these defaults are also sensible. Hmm. Next, I think we'll just go ahead and uh, save this. Yeah, there we go. So I'll commit to the same branch, uh, give it a, a nice description. And then click Save and Run. And again, Blue Ocean will generate the, a, a declarative pipeline, commit that, and push and run it. Now, even with the optimization of storing our dependencies on the local file system, this will take too long for to actually watch this finish during this video. We'll come back to this view and the results of this run in the next video. For the moment, though, let me show you the results of what we've done in the visual editor. If we go over to our repository on GitHub, and take a look at the blog Blue Ocean branch. We can see that there's a Jenkins file here. And uh, there's a building Maven and Docker commit, just like our description from the editor. And looking at that Jenkins file, you can see that under the covers, we still have pipeline as code, but we were able to create it using the Blue Ocean Visual Editor instead of entering it as text. I hope you'll join me in the next video where we'll look at the Blue Ocean Pipeline view and analyze the results of some of our pipeline runs. Thanks for watching.